Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Not Real Engineering. In this video, we are going to see how to apply periodic loads in Abacus CI. Now, in earlier video, we solved one dynamic analysis problem where monkey was sitting on a beam and we made him to jump off the beam. And in this video, we are again going to make him jump, but we are going to make him jump periodically at the same location. I know we are asking him to do many things. He must be pissed. But just a disclaimer, no animals were harmed during making of this tutorial. Anyway, jokes aside, let's get started with our tutorial. This is the geometry of our problem. Monkey is going to sit in this area over here and we will ask monkey to jump periodically. The material properties of beam are given over here. This is the approximate amount of pressure exerted by monkey on this area over here. And we can create different periodic amplitudes as shown over here. This is a triangular waveform. This is sine waveform. This is cos waveform. And that amplitude we will assign to this load to make this periodic load. Before we start with Abacus CAE, let me quickly show you the formulation of periodic amplitude in Abacus. When you select periodic amplitude in Abacus, this is the general formulation. You have to define different coefficients in this formulation. This A is amplitude and this T is time. Now you have to define coefficients such as initial amplitude, circular frequency and a starting time. Let me actually explain with some examples. If you want sine amplitude, then this B should be 1 and this A should be 0. Therefore, if you take an example over here, this A1 is 0, B1 is 1. Number of terms, we will keep it as 1. Therefore, this summation will just go out of the picture. Initial amplitude is 0, starting time is 0 and frequency I am considering as pi. Always remember this is circular frequency. Therefore, if you substitute all these coefficients in this equation, you will get a simple equation as A equal to sin omega t. And then if you plot this equation, you will get this graph. And then you can play with these parameters however you like. For example, if you make this B1 as 2, this amplitude will be 2 instead of 1. Similarly, if you want cos wave, then you just have to choose A1 as 1 and B1 as 0. All other things are same. Now many people ask me, but where to define this total time period, this value. For example, you want to apply a load which will complete three cycles. So for that, always use this formula. You know this circular frequency using which you can calculate time period for one cycle. Once you know time period for one cycle, just multiply it by number of cycles. For example, in our case, circular frequency is pi. Therefore, if you substitute pi at this omega, you will get time period as 2 seconds. And if you want 3 cycles, then you just have to multiply this 2 seconds by 3. And you will get total time as 6 seconds. This is also an cycle by the way. Sorry for the typo. And once you know this total time, you have to define this total time in step. When you create your dynamic analysis step, the total time of that step will be this total time. So simply put, this total time will not go into amplitude module. It will go in step module. Now let's start with Abacus CAE. Now we will do things little bit differently. First, I will show you how to create amplitudes. Just double click on this amplitudes. First, let's create triangular waveform. For that, select type as tabular. Say continue. And over here, you have to define time. I will go up to 6 seconds. And then you have to define amplitude at every time. So for triangular, let's start with 0, go up to 1, come back to 0, again go up to 1 and similarly up to 6. Say OK. And you can see one triangular amplitude is created. Now let's create sine amplitude. For that, select periodic, say continue. Over here, circular frequency, I am selecting as pi. You can type also pi. I back us take that as input. Starting time 0, initial amplitude 0, A should be 0, this is coefficient of cos and B should be 1 for sine. Say OK, sine is created, then also let's create cos, for that again periodic, circular frequency pi, starting time 0, initial amplitude 0, over here define A as 1 and B as 0, say OK. Now many people don't know. But Abacus has very cool plugin to visualize amplitudes. Go in this plugin, go into tools and go in amplitude plotter. If you go over here, you can see all three amplitudes you just created. You can select any one of them and say plot and you can visualize the amplitude. Isn't it cool? You can see sine plot. This is sine curve cos plot. 
So you can be sure whatever you created is whatever you want. So always visualize it guys so that you will be sure it is exactly what you want. Now if you change this amplitude, let's say I'm making this coefficient a as 2, say OK. And again if you plot that, you will see now the amplitude is 2. So you can make changes quickly and again visualize it over here. Anyway, now we have our amplitudes ready. So let's go on with our example. First, let's create part using rectangle. One coordinate is 0, 0 and one corner is 0 0.1 comma 0 0.1. Depth is 1. Our bar is ready. Let's make a partition for our monkey to set. Then go to property, create material, mechanical, elastic. And this is 8E9 and points ratio is 0 0.3. We have to define density as well. Don't forget that 700. Say OK. Create a section, assign the section. Go to assembly, create an instance. And then step over here, we will choose dynamic implicit step and the total time period we have to define over here. Now we want three cycles, let's say of sine amplitude, then we will define time period as six because time period of our sine waveform is two seconds. Go in increment, use fixed. I am going to use this 0 0.01 and maximum also I will increase a little bit. Say OK. Then go to load. First, let me fix this end for initial step. And then we will apply pressure over here. And that should be in step one pressure, which is 30,000. And now here you have to select the amplitude, whichever you like. I'm going to select sine. Say OK. Next, go to mesh. First, go to part. Seed the part. I'm going to go with 0 0.02. Apply. Say OK. Mesh the part. And now before we create a job, I'm going to create a node set. So go in this assembly, double click on this set. Select node. I'm going to name it as bar end and select any node at this bar end on this edge. Then create a history output request. Say continue. Select that set over here bar end. Make this frequency as one and then request a displacement in Y direction, which is U2. Then say OK. Because of this history output, we will be able to visualize how this end of bar is moving up and down. Then go to job, create a job. I will say it as sine amplitude, say continue. Okay. And that's it. Submit the job and job is done. Let's go into results. You can see the stress distribution and let's see how is the displacement of end of the bar for that go in this create XY data. Then ODB history output, say continue. And over here you can see the displacement in Y direction for bar end. Select that and say plot. And you can see over here it is perfect sine wave and three cycles of sine wave. Now you might ask why this sine wave starts in negative. That is because this is the displacement versus time curve. This is not load versus time. What we applied was load versus time. When load is positive, bar will deflect downwards, which means displacement will be in negative y direction. Sine wave of applied load and sine wave of displacement will be exactly 180 degree out of phase. If you animate the time history, you will see bar is oscillating. And what we just saw was displacement of this tip of the bar. And that was perfect sine wave. So our monkey is doing great job in jumping in sine wave. I think I should change that animal. I asked him to do so many things on this channel. Maybe next time we will go with some different animal. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab. And here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. 
For example, let's say if you are interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.